based dimension. And this light comes to us, Stacey Shay. This light comes to us over time. Like a wave. It comes. And we are receptive to it because we don't know what else to do with it. It's like, it's like love. When love comes to you, you say, yes, yes, because you don't know how to deal with the future. You just say, yes, yes. <laughs> and yeah, the flow, the matrix, in the web, in the spider web, in the invisible traffic, in what is between the yes and the no. This is where we are, and it changes. It was like this a moment ago. But I, I'm quite sure that I heard more than I have ever heard before. And when I did, I began to have to change myself. Because if I was who I were before, Harold, it would never do. It's like repeating a recipe. It's like repeating a poem. It's like repeating a solution. When everything else has changed, why can't we change with it? Why can't we change? I know, I know. You say habit, you say we have habits and we must, re must repeat, must repeat. And I say, why, why? Monday is not Tuesday, Thursday is not Friday. We are not who we were before and will never be again. No matter who you thought you were once, no matter who were your alien feelings. Most of my friends are alien. They are points of consciousness. They are flowing mobility. They are wave motion. I call one Doppler. Hi Doppler. <laughs> there you are again. I see you moving through. I call one Zen. There you are, Zen. There you are. Still point. Frog, lotus pond, haiku. Water knows. It's seen flowers come and go. But the beauty is, the beauty always returns in different forms. The song you heard before the dawn. once gave me the, the gift of listening. So I learned, I learned how to listen in different ways. Shallow listening like a shallow grave. Moving along like traffic in a song. But deeper listening as when you go into water and you go down deep into water, the air comes out of you. And you're so beautifully in bliss that this is all you ever want. That still point, that momentary where nothing matters, nothing is matter. It's all energy, it's all consciousness. So, little dots defining themselves by relationships 
in connection at all times. say that this was us tonight, dare we? Because when you repeat the definition after leaving this experience, no one's going to understand exactly what you're feeling. You are here, hearing. I am here, hearing, seeing. We are in the same air, on the same earth, moving. So fast we do not hear nor understand how fast we do not hear nor understand how fast we dance. Starhawk says it is a spiral dance. When I look at galaxies through telescopes, they all have beautiful harmonic patterns. Far beyond the naked eye. Far beyond the waving hand. They put boots on the moon, but they had to come back. There is no where else to go except where we are tonight. Space based Canada. Here. say, my cell phone tells me where to go. I will ask my GPS, where is my spirit tonight? I will ask Siri. I will ask Alexa. They are virtual. And only we are real. Only we are real. Only we are real. I have to add the element of respect for the unknown with which I have had a tangible relationship ever since I was born. The unknown has told me everything I do not know. The unknown has told me everywhere I need to go. The unknown picks me by the shoulder and says go. And I go towards the unknown, only unknowing, only unknowing can tell me where I need to be. I don't need no certainty, I, I don't need no squares and rectangles, I don't need no cages on the border, I don't need no prisons of thought, 
No uniforms, no guns, no drugs. No, 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 no. I need to breathe deeper. To listen deeper. To understand the unknown. My musician friends, they know it all along. They have harmony in their soul. Their song, their song is like the lilt of the sky at night. It sings in stars. So far away you say, I can't hear them. But you turn the stars up and suddenly you can hear them singing. I I've heard space music, sounds of planets turning, clicking, clicking, clicking like Gutenberg galaxies. Some people do the two. You know, they, they click when they walk. But we're not, we're not that. When I hear the round sounds around, I realize we are in parabolas and orbits beyond our choosing. The elements of choice are only where we are, with whom, and why. Free will? <laughs> where did that come from? The idea of control? Where did that come from? behind the beginning of all things is the dream. Behind the dream of all things is the here. I hear you. Chopping up comfortable silences, putting them in a stone soup, serving it up in small containers so we don't get too excited. Imagine revelations over breakfast, epiphanies over lunch, miracles on the highway. Suddenly, we're all in contact. Woo! of concepts, a gentle wave of potential silence settles in for the duration of deserts and says, one day you will be here. And when you are, how will you know? Will someone tap you on the shoulder and say you're sitting in the plastic chair there? No. Will someone bring a child and say, look, that's what's happening in the air there? No. Will the camera after this tell the truth? No. Will your ears remember all this? No. Will even the no of no tell you more than you know? No. There is more in heaven and earth as dreamed of in our Hamlet philosophy. I wake up with William Shakespeare. I wake up with William Blake. I wake up with Rumi. I wake up with Hafiz. I wake up with Kabir. I wake up with Layla. I wake up with Mirabai. They're all going shopping at the H-E-B. Why are you going shopping at the H-E-B? I said, I want to buy some philosophy. Where is the philosophy? It's in the mixed vegetables department. What, what's so mixed about the vegetables? Well, all different varieties, all diversity. That's a world I want to live in. I want to live where the vegetables grow. Organic, organic, organic. Yeah, you can trust that. Mm -hmm. No plastic, no plastic, oh yeah. And, and where? Oh no, DDT, no, 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 no toxic, no, no, no. No Monsanto, no, no, no. Human beings, human dreams, that's where the vegetables go. That's where I wanna go. I look for concrete examples to follow in their footsteps. I think to myself, somebody's got to be perfect. Someone's got to know where to go, right? All I've got is a packet full of unknowns. Unknown thought, unknown feeling, unknown concepts, unknown categories, and it, I never run out. Because there's holes in my bucket of thoughts at the top. You can never fill the bucket with a hole at the top. Some people look for the hole in the bottom of everything. 
I don't think you have to go that low. Let the air escape. Let's go. Let's blow. Movement and motion are meaning. This is where we came in. You remember chapter two, where it says that uh, you are on an approximate hypothetical situation in a space-time dimension with interdependent entities sitting in plastic chairs on the green grass of East Austin. Do you remember that part? That's where you came in, okay? Well, something else happened after that. You started to put your phone down and to tune in and to hear things. You ain't never heard before. You ain't never gonna hear this anymore. Like the crash of a wave on a distant shore. And more. Uh, of course, you, you, can, you, can, you can always withdraw. You can say, I'm not fully here. I never will be. I'm only a 10% of my fantasy. If I practice, if I practice, I might just make it someday, you know. To be here and then to leave. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You've heard all this jazz before. significance in speech. So I tried to be quiet. I tried to be obedient. I tried to reduce my vibration to a tiny little space that no one could see. And best of all, no one could hear. People said to me, put those words on paper. No one listens anymore. I didn't want to believe them. Conversation. Before, 
before the cell phone stole our time and our eyes in concentration. Whatever happened to human connection before the machine stole our song? again, when I went quiet, people said to me, there's a language in silence too, don't you know? There's a silent anger and a silence of frustration and a silence of anticipation and a silence of expectation and a silence that's violent and a silence that is a fearful silence that means we withdraw our aura till we are no longer here anymore. So I began again as if from zero to one. Not a digital code, I'm no computer, but I start with nothing and end up as one. One. That's Tom. Yeah. Man, thank you for breathing. Yeah, man. In the same air. For giving me breath. Really grateful for your presence, and if you're playing, even better. Yeah. And you. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we meet. So, it's it's like. There are no degrees of separation between those who are breathing the same air and in the same planetary vibration. You, you hear the, the, the alchemy of music because it's quixotic, uh, more than eccentric, it's passionate and it embraces the unknown, which is, of course, our only muse. Uh, it, imagine, if, imagine if we were certain and we had score charts and we had symphony orchestras and we had violins. No. No, take us there where the unknown sings. Take us there beyond the, the, the visible spectrum. Take us beyond the audible. Take us beyond the known, where the beer can alone will not save you. Where sound might seep into your skin and remind you how deeply you are being. Ah, but maybe, you don't need to believe that every word has wings, that every moment sings, that we are sharing this dream. And if not, fine. This is all just temporary exposition. Now, Andy Warhol said we would have 15 minutes of fame. We have about 15 more minutes to share this miraculous experience so ignore the words and hear the sounds let them take you around beyond the bounds of rationality let the flute birds invite you on a metaphysical picnic let the Cornets and trumpets arrange a triumphal march. Let the percussive waves uh, give your syncopation. And let the base of your heart start. S 
Some movies don't need a soundtrack. Some movies are so living that they are visual. Not verbal, but visual. You can see it in the air. Feel it in your skin. Dancing. Wave motion. Dreaming in. Dreaming in. Out again. Oceans know this. Singing to the moon. In their watery skin, they are mermaids and mermen. Mythological as you. What are we to do in this ocean of air that we're breathing in? In this musical inspiration? In this hieroglyphic dream? In this pyramid of meditation? You do not need to do a thing. You do not need to believe anything. Things, of course, have their own magic, but things just sit there, taking up space and time like some people. Hi! But you, conscious, you have ability beyond the obvious. You can change. Chair is just a chair, but you are here. Two legs good, four legs plastic. So, in the 12 minutes of illumination, forget the words, listen to the vibration. Hear the bird, hear the bird in the jungle, hear it, hear the cry, cry in the night, hear the bass. Calling out, take flight, take flight, take flight. Chapter 3, Zen to Infinity. This is where we begin again, to, to resume the conversation. As if we never stopped listening. Hey, let's say, you say what you love most in this world. Sound or silence? animates you most? What gets your gesticulations moving? Yeah. Hands in the air like you really do care. That's it, man. Yeah. Contact. Communication. In the 10 minutes we had before the curfew comes in, we began to explore the idea that ideas were never enough for us. We needed more than just ideas, right? Say, how are we going to solve the traffic? We have to have more than ideas to solve the traffic. What are we going to do about this expensive condominium syndrome? We need more than ideas to solve that one. And what about water? There's not enough water anymore. Everything is hot, hot, hot. Dog days of summer have only just begun. You need more than ideas for that one. I know. We are sweating with impossible, impossible propositions. The water in the hand is like the water in the spring. Only it is made of oh, something like freedom. Communication. I was plastic once. I became water after a while. I undid the lid of my soul and I start flowing. I was no longer caught on the page of the page. I stood up. 
before the curfew made us sad. We realized then we were already here. It took us a while, but that, uh, that distance was a short smile. You realized then that you knew this all along. That's why your hands were raised in song and someone carrying the water song made me happier. Thank you, Stacey Shea. These are miracle musicians. They have a gift of harmony and empathy, which is impossible to purchase. It's only a creative skill that comes when you realize the community is a song that we all sing along. In the four minutes we've got before they throw us away at 10 o'clock, we realize then that everyone is their own universe, but we're all in the same space-time syndrome. Yeah? You knew it. That's why you're here. It's clear. Human beings in here.
I think we're done. That's no mo. That's no mo. That's no mo. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. We are O'Clock, that madman over there, and me. We just got back from a wonderful trip to Italy. It's great. And, uh... The three of us, the trumpet man there, Dave Lasco, and Steve Mankenberg on drums, we are Dark Matter Horns. And together we call ourselves Dark O'Clock. <laughs> it's clever, huh? Anyway, that's all we got. Thanks for coming out. And thank you, Tom. Always incredible and fucking incredible. Thomas. He has literature. It's worth taking home. No, no, no. I'm going to be dead today. I'm going to be dead today.